I mean, so the question I always get is what is tiny ML and then what is edge AI and what is so in the, in the AI context and ML context, you know, one of the, I guess, positives and challenges of the tech industry is we kind of just make, make up words, uh, to describe things. And so, you know, I really think of edge AI, tiny ML, efficient ML, edge ML, analog AI, all these terms really mean like running AI workloads in the real world, uh, running mm -hmm. it where the data is created. And really, can, you know, we're, we're, we're all about connecting AI to the real world. And that's what a lot of the, the companies in the community are about. Um, and that's distinguished from, you know, running AI in the cloud, right? And, and I think one of the things that you're mentioning, which is a bit of a, um, a little outside of our uh, rubric is, you know, is that cloud, you know, near-prem, on-prem or in a data center? Um, for us, it's really like, and a lot of what we're talking about today is how do we run generative AI workloads in these devices that are, you know, happening, you know, that are, you know, located where the data is being created. I think that's what you mentioned here is like, that's, that's for us is the really differentiating factor is in a resource constrained environment, in which, you know, these edge platforms are these tiny platforms. Um, how do you run AI workloads effectively? And in this case, generative AI workloads. So that's kind of what I think of as this distinction is there's this kind of AI in the real world, and then there's AI in the cloud.